Hi, let's talk about Kivi again. So, last time I mentioned that black women are not always going to be naturals or romantics. Even if we tend to have filler features that are considered yin, that doesn't mean that we're always going to be a yin type or maybe not at all. The Kiwi archetypes are a yin yang styling system and that's what I'll be explaining today. Not necessarily Kiwi because that's his own thing, but I'll be talking about yin and yang in general. I move my hands a lot, but we're going to ignore that I broke off one of my nails. <laughs> So, what is it? Yin is feminine energy and yang is masculine energy. These are just terms that you're going to encounter when you're reading the works of like Bill Northrop, Harriet McGimsey, John Kitchener, David Kivy, and others. But that doesn't mean that if you have yang features, you're going to look like a man. Like, not at all. Yin and yang are just two ways to group characteristics. The first thing that we're going to do today is to get rid of the bias and connotations that you might have with those words and basically forget about people <laughs> and let's just talk about them in terms of design. Instead of using pictures of people and features right now, what I'm going to do is to show you shapes and lines so that hopefully it becomes clear. We have yin. Yin is curved, organic has round edges, circles, it's shorter, loose, fleshy, and fuller. Yang is defined, straight, elongated, sharp, blonde, hard, geometric, taut, slender, and slick. In conclusion, when it comes to design, yin lines are organic and yang lines are inorganic. Nothing more, nothing less, that's just it. I showed you a few images for that. I'm going to show you again both of those mood boards right next to each other so that you can see the difference between organic and inorganic lines. I'm going to pause for a second just to let you know that if you want me to help you with your style journey, you can hire me as your personal stylist at cocostyling.com. Now we can continue with the rest of the video. So hopefully that helps you get rid of the connotation of feminine and masculine and instead we're going to use organic and inorganic lines. Now that that's out of the way, we can see how that would translate into people. Again, yin would be curved, organic, round, circular, shorter, loose, fleshy, and fuller. These features would be considered yin features. Then we have yang. Again, yang is defined, straight, elongated, sharp, blunt, hard, geometric, short, slender, and sleek. So this is how yang features would look like. Mm, I think I would say that about 90% of us are going to have a mix of yin and yang features. It is going to be very rare for someone to be only yin or only yang. Maybe less than 90. Here are a few things that you should know and understand before we dive into the archetypes. First, we have your body frame. So that would be your bone structure. It's about how wide, narrow, long or short your bones are. Your body frame is going to be the most important factor to determine how much your body can handle in terms of visual weight. Then we have the vertical line, which is not necessarily how tall you actually are, but it's about your perceived height. That would be how tall you look in comparison to how tall you actually are. Finally, we have the body lines, which are the most important thing that you need to understand because the lines are just the deconstruction of your features into simple geometric shapes and well, lines. <laughs> we have three different types of lines. Those would be soft, blonde and sharp. Let's talk about those body lines. Again, we have yin and yang. Soft lines would be yin. And for the yang lines, we have both blunt lines and sharp lines. If your features are soft, they're going to be on the curvy and fleshy side. Now, with curvy, I do not mean plus size. 
but I'm referring to your body flesh and structure. That can translate into you having a fuller bust, wider hips and a larger bum. If a soft type was a geometric shape, it would be a circle because it's about curves and roundness. A few examples of soft features would be having rounded and full cheeks, rounded eyes, full lips, rounded chin, having hooded or droopy eyes, rounded eyebrows, being shorter, having shorter limbs, having small hands and feet, sharp lines. If you have sharp features, they are going to be defined and elongated. They are going to be mostly straight and angular. If a sharp type was a geometric shape, then it would be a triangle because the lines create pointy edges. A few examples of sharp features would be having an angular and pointy jawline, straight eyebrows, high undefined cheekbones, almond eyes, thinner lips, being taller, having very long limbs, having long hands and feet, being narrow, and having a small chest and behind, but also having narrower hips. Blunt lines. If you have blunt features, they're going to be angular and geometric, just like the sharp types. The difference with them is that instead of being something like a triangle, they're going to be more like a square or a rectangle because instead of being narrow, they have wider features. A few examples of blunt features would be having an angular and square jawline, straight eyebrows, high undefined cheekbones, almond eyes, being taller, and having long limbs. If you notice, most of those are the same as with sharp types, but then you see other features such as having big hands and feet, having a wider frame, having broad shoulders, and having a straight waist. Since we have that covered, we can start talking about the families, but I will make an important note that when I'm styling people, I do not give them names. If you have worked with me, you have probably noticed that your chart says something like sharp, and soft or like blonde, pure blonde lines or mixed lines, I might not necessarily place you in just one family. Now, for this video, I'm going to use the names that you're familiar with so that it's easier. But in some of the next videos that I'm going to make, the names might change. And there are going to be additional types, especially for the tall people. <laughs> in case you are new to this, the five families are dramatics, naturals, classics, gamines, and romantics. Dramatics have sharp lines, naturals have blonde lines, romantics have soft lines. Then for classics and gamines, they are the intermediate types, but classics are going to be a blend and gamines are going to be a mix. Classics would be a blend between yin and yang, meaning that they don't necessarily have completely yin or completely yang features and then gamins are a mix, so they have both yin and yang features. Let's start talking about those families. I do have to say that I'm going to be showing a few pictures, but that doesn't mean that I'm typing that person into that family. It's just so that I can illustrate how that would look like. Let's start with the dramatics. The body of a dramatic is going to have a narrow and elongated appearance with straight and angular features. They have a taut and slender look. They have a long vertical line, but that doesn't necessarily mean that they are super tall. It just means that they look taller and that's because of the proportions of their limbs and their elongated features. Their main aspect is having a long vertical line, being narrow and, of course, their sharp lines. Then we have the naturals. Okay, I'm going to make a very, very, very important note. And if you come from my future videos, now you're here. It's very important for you to remember this all the time. And it's that the original naturals are a yang type. So in this case, when I'm talking about a natural, a pure natural, I'm going to be talking about what in some other systems is going to be called the flamboyant natural. Naturals have blunt lines. Their bodies have a wide and elongated appearance with squarish and straight features. They have bigger or wider frames, which is why a lot of the times you're going to find the examples of them being inverted triangles or rectangles. 
but that's not always the case. They also have a very long vertical line. Actually, they tend to visually appear to be taller than dramatics. The main aspect is their width, their long vertical line, and of course, Yang features being blunt lines. I, I just realized that the camera wasn't recording when I talked about romantics, but here it is. Romantics have soft lines. Their bodies have a curvy appearance and they have rounded features. They have a moderate vertical line, but they do tend to be shorter. The main aspect of a romantic is their lush features, composed of soft lines. Then we have classics, which are an intermediate type of the yin-yang balance. In this case, they are a blend of sharp, blunt and soft lines. But it's also very hard for someone to be 100% in between all of those types. Most of them are going to lean a bit towards one of the sides. Classics are very balanced. They don't have features that stand out a lot because their lines are very symmetrical and, <laughs> of course, balanced. Even when their features lean a bit towards the soft side, the blonde side or the sharp side, it's not going to be extreme. So they're not going to be very sharp, they're not going to be very blunt, and they are not going to be very soft. To finish this video, I'm going to talk about the gamins. They are another intermediate type and they have mixed lines. That means that they have a mix of blunt, sharp and soft features. Just like classics, they can lean a bit towards the soft side, the blunt side or the sharp side. Since they are not balanced and they are a mix, they can go to the extremes, so they can look very blunt, they can look very soft, and they can look very sharp as well, but still they're not going to look like a romantic, like a dramatic, or a natural, they're going to look like a gamin. And that's it, if you want to hire me as a personal stylist, you can do it at cocostyling.com. And if you want to know more about the systems that I created and use, then you can go to the theoryofbrown.com and learn about it. Right now, it hasn't officially launched, so you can sign up to the newsletter to be the first in line when it does. Yeah, that'll be it. I'll be seeing you hopefully next week. These ones are going to take a little bit longer because again, I don't use the names. <laughs> I just use the lines, but maybe trying to describe that just in like, oh, sharp and blunt or sharp and Making mixes of lines can be a little bit hard to understand, so I'm trying to make it as clear as possible for you. If you want to know more about the styles out there, then you can watch this and see my master list on them. Bye!